creating a pyramid standard primitive. Let's go up into our command panel. Let's go to create geometry standard primitives and let's go to our primitive object type. And the primitive object type in the default method is the base 8 pecs and what we want to do is the pick and then we're going to drag out and we're going to pick the other corner of the base and then I let go and I'm going to drag it upwards and I'm going to pick the height okay and then when I'm done I can right click and I just created my first pyramid now let's make another one I'll go up the pyramid and this time I'm going to choose the center creation method and this time I'm going to pick and I'm going to drag and drag over and so I'm effectively picking the center and I got to go out halfway and over halfway then I go up and I pick the height alright so it's a different method of doing it and let's take a look at a pyramid again you can see in the parameters I can control my height and depth and width and my number of segments you can see there's just one segment if you look in here I got one segment in height um, I got one segment in depth and uh, so everything's just one segment so over here I could actually come and say I want to go back to the default base apex I can create the base and I can pick the height and I can say well you know really I needed that thing to be 18 and that to be you know 15 and I needed the height to be 31 not a problem I can control all that in in my parameters and I can right click and I can finish the command so we created a pyramid standard primitive using the command panel